Hello and welcome to the Cabinet of Creations where you will find horror, horror. beauty and the perfectly imperfect. imperfect. Hello and welcome to this very short video here of doing a circus backdrop. Here we go. So we start off the construction with foam board as usual. Now I've learnt from the last one that I did, I'll just score the boards and then I can bend them instead of cutting them completely and sticking them back together with masking tapes because the paper on the other side actually holds it together. I'm also making a front part to this as well, which I can use or not use as I want. Added a bit in the middle here as you can see just to make it wider because I've only got an A4 printer A3 would be very helpful at this stage I enlarged the image that I had of a kind of circus background with the stripes and measured it so it turned out to fit the actual archway that I did which was obviously bigger than an A4 so I ended up putting about four different sheets together as you can see I didn't print the whole of the page with the stripes because I knew that I'd be cutting the middle bit out so to me it would just be a waste of ink so um, <laughs> yeah I'll try and do my bit I'm just making some curtains here well basically sticking some material to the foam board which will be curtains here I really love making these teeny tiny tassels, they're just so cute. Putting out some stars for some detail, there you go, placing them on the gold arch. Now just in case I have some shorter clown dolls or ones maybe in a sitting pose or something I thought I'd make this little almost like a little stage like a little circular stage so again if I've got taller dolls like for example balancing on something I could not use this and then if I've got some shorter dolls then obviously I can use this so it just gives me the option really do my favorite thing of dirtying things up with some pastels don't forget to spray Mr. Super Clear after each layer. So I was a bit confused as to what to do with the background here. Um, so I decided to do more stripes, stripes, stripes and more stripes. So tearing some paper, again giving this aged vintage look, this not so perfect look, which is what I love. I decided I didn't want it pure yellow around the edge, so I'm going in with the gold again and then aging it up with some pastels. I didn't want the background to be too busy or colourful or patterned because I don't know what dolls I might be photographing on here in the future. Some of the colours might clash or you know anything like that really. So hence why I try and use the actual background bit that would be behind the doll as being plain as possible. Just using some very watered down paint here to age the curtains. And here you go, the final backdrop. 